occasion when I when I play, I, I uh, if I'm playing something that's written, a written piece of music, I have to think about. It, sometimes it's good to understand what the music is for. So if I'm playing on a, a movie, call in the there's a trumpet solo, and uh, and maybe it's a I don't know maybe it's a a, a love scene, <laughs> and so I'm going to approach that a certain way if I know this, you know, if it's a war scene. <laughs> Maybe I'll approach it the same. I don't know. <laughs> I would just, I would, I would, uh, uh, I would think about the kind of vibrato I'm going to use, the volume I'm going to play, um, how smooth the line should be. Maybe, you know. Usually the music dictates. You, yeah, you can look at the music and you can see what's there, and even without any knowledge of this other stuff, and see the way it's written and, and kind of understand what you need to do. As long as you understand whether is this a jazz thing, or is it a classical thing. Or does it take place in, in another period? So I have to use my imagination about how somebody from the 1940s, let's say, if the motion picture takes place in the 30s or 40s, I have to think about, well, how, I wasn't there. So, but I've listened, and I've done my homework, and I've listened to musicians from that era. So I know that you use faster, faster vibrato. Uh, you know, for instance, uh, you know, just playing a song. More modern, more a modern way to play this might be... Uh, Right, that might be like a cooler jazz thing, maybe a little more modern. But take in the '40s, that would be played more. You know, with a much faster vibrato, more singing kind of sound. You know, so you can take the same piece of music and play it many different ways. You know, you can you can play it more like a like a Dixieland trumpet player or New Orleans style. You know. <laughs> You hear some buzzing in the sound and some noise. You know, you hear some noise from over there too. <laughs> some you hear noise in the sound. You know, for that style of music and those sounds that we hear, like you hear this, uh, this guttural kind of sound. These sounds come from uh, what I'm doing is I'm actually humming mm, while I play, and it makes that sound. Well, is that good? You know, if you look in any trumpet book, the Arbenz book, the Saint Jacomes, the Clark book. None of them will say that's a good sound. They'll say, oh, that's horrible. That's a terrible sound. Why would you play like that? But these sounds are, are sounds that are found in jazz. And they come from, uh, I believe they come from like an untrained place. Because many jazz musicians, especially from the turn of the century, uh, you know, maybe they got an instrument from a, from a pawn shop or their parents, bought them, and they learned to play with no formal training. And so, you know, what's the first thing somebody does when a young person picks up a trumpet? They go, mm. <laughs> you know, a child, you know, they don't understand. And so maybe that bad habit, they learn how to play and they go, mm. and they develop this kind of funny sound. Well, if nobody ever corrects that, maybe this person goes on to be a pretty good musician, but that's part of their sound, and that, which, which makes them unique. Like Louis Armstrong, you know, had a very distinct sound with some buzzing in it, and, and he has a unique vibrato, and, and that's not somebody, nobody taught him that. That's something that came from him naturally. So uh, I think those sounds, even though maybe they're not proper in classical music, obviously you wouldn't, uh, you know, you wouldn't go. You know, you wouldn't play, you know, pictures at an exhibition like this, obviously. You'd play with a clear sound, you know. But for jazz and things like that, and under, anyway, understanding that and, and having a little bit of knowledge about how those sounds are made, now you have a lot of colors on your painting palette to, to paint a picture instead of just sounding like a trumpet. The trumpet can sound many different ways. It can sound sweet, it can sound harsh, it can sound growly. It can sound sexy like that, you know, all with the same notes. So uh, understanding all those things, and those were things that were really important for me, that my teacher, when I was very young, he showed me how to do these things. And, uh, and I use them all the time at work now. Somebody says, play like 1940s, I kind of know what to do. Play like Dixie Lamb, you know, I, I, I have an idea. Hey.